The blame game in relation to the Gareth Brooks uh, cancelled uh, concert c continues. But during the last week, all I've heard was uh, one word that I couldn't really get my head around, and that was lockdown in relation to the residents ar around Crow Park. And I was told that it was quite serious. I was led to believe that in actual fact that people around that area couldn't go and buy a loaf of bread for five days. And it did lead you to believe that they were kind of somehow in Beirut rather than Crow Park, and that uh, Garth Brooks fans were terrorists coming down Jones's Road. But I, I was talking to a, a member of the Garth of Shia Connor last night, and I, I discussed this with him, and he told me that, you know, wh where the GA are being uh, criticised for not making a public statement on it, the GA have agreed parking facilities for the residents of Jones's Road, which is free and just across the road. They get passes in and out of Jones's Road at will. Their local kids are employed in an array of services that are provided to the public. Now they won't be getting that. There's emergency access for GPs and ambulances. They get tickets to the event and they get an offer of a half a million for either local services or some kind of a local community development. And I just think that, you know, people have to understand that, fine, life would be uncomfortable for them, but you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. But I think it was ironic that on Sunday last, two days before the de decision was made to cancel the five events, a friend of mine, Shane Curran, that played in goal with Roscommon, wrote an article in the Sunday Independent headed, a new stadium would breathe life into an ailing region. Shane is suggesting that we consider building a new stadium in the Midlands, outside of the M50, west of the Shannon or slightly east of the Shannon, but to a neglected part of rural Ireland, where there's no development and, and no, no obviously intention of development uh, for the foreseeable the future. But should, should you build a stadium that has planning permission to host concerts, then we can solve the problem and we can facilitate it. And I think, I, I mentioned it to a colleague of mine yesterday, I think it's something that we should debate in this House. If we had a stadium where you don't have to look for a licence, that it comes with planning permission to host concerts, no matter how many they are, we can breathe life into rural Ireland and we can create a lot of facilities surrounding that, like educational and service facilities. Yeah, so I think I, I, I'm asking the leader that at some stage, leader, when we come back in September, that we might have a debate on this issue because this kind of a debacle of residents stopping 50 million coming to the city of Dublin is Senator outrageous. Lee.